Middle school, probably the funnest school of all of them, because you just get to mess around and do no work. So after your guys' suggestions, I'm building a Bloxburg middle school, including a gym, a cafeteria, a classroom. We can title it, Why don't you just meet me in the middle? School? <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. Okay, people. So this is the structure of our middle school. I've got to say, it's beautiful. But it's nothing without the colour. So I'm going to do those classical school colours. Oh, baby. Already, I want this school. The stairs can just be concrete. These pillars can be ghost grey because it's Halloween. <laughs> this looks all right. Now we're going to add the windows. And the eager eye among of you might notice there's a secret window up here. Yes, guys. This triangle here is a window. Although, granted, it doesn't exactly look like one yet. So I'll add some structure to it. Um, Maybe not like this. It looks like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. And now I've just sort of made it all interconnect. So, oh, also, by the way... I I made my thing all like pink. Doesn't it look so cute? Anyway, what I'm going to be using is commercial windows. <laughs> Not the drive-thru one, don't worry. This isn't going to turn into a KFC on the weekends. And speaking of fast food and middle school, did any of you ever try to order like McDonald's or Uber Eats or something to your school? I tried to do it once and it actually came to the school. Although like you can't get out to accept it. So it's kind of a waste of money. And look at that. Perfect fit. And then to finish that off with some commercial doors. That's nice. That's you different. That's unusual. unusual. No, that is really different. It's nice. Whoever said schools can't be pretty building? This looks so cute. Although these windows are very awkwardly sized. Let me make them exactly the size of a square. How much better does that look? I love it. I'm in love. And for once, I'm actually going to add the rest of the windows around. It's quite rare a build looks just as good from the back as it does from the front, but I managed it. So on the next, we're going to put, look, what, what did I just say? You, um, you had your you, you can the next step is going to be doing the front. And as you can see, I've already sketched out, guys. One step ahead of ya. So this here is literally going to be concreto. If you thought this was going to be a ladder, then I'm sorry. Then you're mistaken. <laughs> it's not going to be a ladder. It's going to be car park spaces. Oh, that is so easy when it's all done in there for you. Look at that. These parts here are going to be some lovely grass. I don't know why it's facing that way, but we'll live. And notice these two tiny bits. I'm sorry. They're going a little bit crazy. There's nothing that can be done about that. We'll have inter connecting pathways here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, I've made a little oopsie daisy. There's a path on this side, but not on this side. Oh no. That was much easier to fix than I thought. And before you say, Reese, this is uneven. This building was not designed to be 100% uh, symmetrical. So now these parts over here, I actually want to make a different shade of grass. That sounds like the title of a poem. Right. Why do I keep deleting that? It's because I saw this picture. It's the most random thing to get inspiration from. But they had like really cute little trees along the side of the school. And did you know, guys, in England, we don't have middle school. It's called secondary school. And and it's ages 11 to 16, which is weird because I swear in America you start high school at 15. So what is going on there? <laughs> Anyway, I'm doubling up these fences. I'm using this white one and the green one. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I actually do kind of like the NPC vibe of these trees. And as per, a lot of decoration in the car park comes with, you guessed it, the cars. And for some reason, I always have so many cars in my inventory. <laughs> and also, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to do this, guys. So I'm going to use an exercise ball. And you know those bullards they have at like Walmart? And they have them at high schools as well. And I thought, let's add them just for that extra bit of realisticness. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing some fat dress. Yeah, guys. I'm from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Finally, we need to add just a fountain or something. And then some, like, picnic benches. Because I find it so vibey studying outside at school. <laughs> Me acting like I study loads. Why does this book look like someone's incinerated the inside of it? And on this side, some people can just be eating their lunch, you know? That is the exterior dump. Hey, Paul, this looks so real. So rather than going straight into the back garden, like, exercise area, I actually want to do a bit of the inside first. So we're going to have walls either side, either side, however you say it. And then the stairs, they're always massive stairs in schools, I've noticed. And as you can see, there's room to walk through either side. That is not a coincidence. Upstairs, the floor is going to be dark linen, but it's going to be layered in dark linen. Oh, Notice how this is just going to be a big open area. And I've spotted my first mistake. What, what is this doing here? What am I going to do? I just I can't, can't even... duck. I don't know what to do, but I just There's keeps doing it. Me. The only thing I can think to do is redo it, but smaller. And let me talk you through the rest of the layout. So to the left here, we're going to have the assembly hall. This is obviously the entryway, and to the left is going to be the cafeteria. This room here is going to be a gym class slash leading out to the gym. Upstairs, we have the principal's office and a classroom. And since we're already up, here. We might as well start with the classroom. And do you know what class I'm going to do, guys? Physics. And it's going to be based on that meme. Welcome to physics class. Welcome to physics. 
Holy mo- And guys, this giving me my flashbacks to my first day of school because my first ever lesson was science. Firstly, we're gonna do the desks. And if you've ever been to a science class, you will know desks aren't even desks. They're literally counters. And the reason for this is when you do practical experiments, you need the counters. So I'm not gonna add too many desks at all. Maybe literally just four because there's so many other exciting things I wanna add in this class. So I actually don't mind the color scheme of these counters. I'm just thinking I might make it a bit more of a vibrant blue. And the two things they always have on them is one, a sink, and two, that little thing called a Bunsen burner. So we've all used a Bunsen burner. It's the little flame things that you use in science experiments. Did you guys ever learn about the blue flame? If it's a blue flame, it's dangerous. If it's orange, it's safe. And then obviously you've got to plug this into like the gas or something. So the stools, we're obviously using the fluent stool. This is literally the perfect one. Don't get mad at me for having too many stools, guys. I just want the most amount of people to be able to fit in this school as possible. These science stools are the most uncomfortable piece of architecture known to man. I've just had a stroke of genius. We can use these spray bottles as like the beakers and stuff. And already I'm just loving the vibe of this class. And guys, look how cool this pattern is I did for the roof. If you're wondering how I did it, I just used structural beams. Okay, so next up we should probably do the teacher's desk and they literally have the coolest desk ever because this is where they do demonstrations for science. This is where you all gather around and watch. And was it just me or were all the science teachers actually crazy? My one personally, I actually thought he might be insane. So I actually found this really cool decal how I want to add. This is the first one. It's kind of just like a whiteboard, you know, that they'll be writing on at the front. And it says, science class, today we're tackling the solar system. Can you name the solar system? Oh my gosh, that's actually a good question for you guys in the comments. Comment down below if you know all of the planets. And if you do, I'll be so impressed. Don't we have like a solar system thing? This can go on the wall over here then. We don't need much else in here. Things I am going to add though, is these little trays along the side. The best science lessons, like I say, are when you're doing a practical experiment. For example, like using a Bunsen burner. And oh my gosh. What is this? What is this? A potion bottle. Forget these perfumes. We literally have beakers. Okay, maybe today should be like seeing if you can make fire with potions. And it's better to be safe than sorry. We'll have some fire extinguishers as well. And then at the back here in the corner, I think we should just have one more display board, mainly because I've just left it out here. But that is perfect. So we did skip over the entryway, which is probably quite an important room. As I say, it's a modern build. So we're not going to be adding none of these traditional wall trims, even though I do love them. Instead, we're going to be adding these tall wall wall trims. That's a tongue twister. And the rest of the walls can just be cadet blue or something. <laughs> All of this stairs going up, we're going to need to place them coming back down again. And I love doing my doors. One this way, one that way. Don't you think it just looks so much nicer with the handles? And I'm going to add some more posters. Obviously, I'll change this from science class. And I don't know if it isn't quite realistic for schools to have chandeliers in the entryway. Why would you waste such a nice nice big opening here. And I enjoy doubling them up like that. Oh, that is glorious. And a sneaky little building hack, which I always say, just add lighting underneath the floor if it's not bright enough. And then either side, I will just have some of those like modern sofas they have. And I would add a entry table, but it's a school, not the Kardashian mansion. And I've changed my mind up here. I actually think we should have windows to let the light in. And I've added some paintings, but I won't give them away just yet till we do the tour. And with the entryway done, I think we should just do the principal's office because then that finishes upstairs. And that made me feel very accomplished. So apparently the principal of this school is Damon Salvatore. Because why is this office all dark? You know what? Going for like a dark vampirian vibe isn't actually the worst idea I've ever had. Up in the principal's office, main thing is their desk. And I've also added little windows, which in turn means we need to add little blinds. Because whenever I used to walk past the principal's office, the blinds were always shut. I was like, what are you doing in there? They'll obviously have a computer. And they normally have a dual computer system. And then the phone so they can call the parents in. And when the parents have been called in, it will sit here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not actually going to use those. And what's more fitting than the school rules to go in his office? I don't know why I've made this so vampirian with like those wall lights as well. And principals were always the type of people to walk through the school and give you bombastic sign eye. And this here is going to be the little meeting area. So if it's more severe meeting with the parent, then they'll come in here. And all that talk of Damon Salvatore has made me want to call this the Salvatore boarding school, even though this is not a boarding school. And then finally, I suppose we should have some sort of bookshelf or something that actually looks smart. I honestly think this is such a cute little principal's office. Now, oh my gosh, what should we do? Shall we go in and do the gym in the garden? So the fences 
is I'm going to use titanium. I know this kind of looks like a prison, but you really are not allowed to break out of school. So either side, we are going to have the bleachers. Now, until about a year ago, I thought bleach was something you wash your clothes with. But bleachers are those things that you sit on. And you know, you sit on them at like a football game or a baseball game. And this is also like the yard where you can go eat your lunch. So you can add a couple of benches out here. I'm actually really excited to do this because I've not built a school garden in forever. So they always have blue grass. I don't know why. Apparently Papa Smurf has come over here and decided to have a big poo all over it. Just for the fun of it, we're going to have some of those bullards outside that we had out the front. And this is where we actually use plain markings, but like seriously. Because normally these are used to like mark out different parts of a build. But not today. And just for the sake of it, they can be playing football today. Go! So we have three measly rooms left. I suppose we should do the gym room because that's actually part of what we were just doing. In the locker rooms, you will have showers. And now they're very basic showers. I'm not going to pretend like they're not. Actually, bless me. But yeah, we're obviously adding doors on them because you're not just going to shower out in the open, are you? I think we should have a little bench. Actually, maybe the metal ones. Yeah, that looks like a gym vibe. And then this is where we're also going to put the coat hangers. So they'll have like the sports bibs here. Guys, I hated the sports bibs at school. I literally used to say to my PE teacher, put me on the no bib team, please. But anyway, let's actually put the darn bibs down. Oh, they're my enemy. And they always stank. I'm gonna change this whiteboard to be like a gym thing. And this is where the teacher's gonna stand and like explain what the lesson's gonna be. And the last thing I'm adding is actually quite clever, if I do say so myself, is basically a mirror wall. And this fills up so much space. And then we can just have some mats if you just wanna start doing yoga while the teacher's talking. So, oh my gosh, we we have the assembly hall in the cafeteria. We did this in the most random order, I swear. Cafeteria, oh, I'm not actually gonna put a kitchen in it. I normally do, because instead I'm gonna add a little buffet, which is actually more accurate to what schools have. But how it happens is you grab your tray off the stack of plastic trays. And then in the middle of these, thank goodness for that update that came out a few months ago, then you kind of like get to fill it up yourself. Normally there is a member of staff behind helping you, but sometimes there isn't. And then at the end, we can put like a drink fridge so you can get a drink with your meal as well and i hate to be basic but the tables are literally these. they put outdoor tables inside because i haven't actually added any like fire exits so we'll have a couple of fire exits in the canteen and there was a fight in the canteen every day or there was somebody like shouting at the chef it is not illegal to yell here Finally, at the moment, maybe you've all been waiting for, I don't know which room's gonna be your favorite, but we're about to look at them all. But finally, we have the assembly hall, and Jesus, did not mean to do that. So normally I do them two stories high, but as you can see, there's a classroom above, so I can't do that today. But then I thought about it, a lot of the times, assemblies are just held in halls, and they basically just get these folding chairs and unfold them each time. And do you, any of you remember in your dance hall that you'd have that weird apparatus on the wall? So I'm gonna put a couple of bars on the wall so that then this can actually be be turned into a dance studio, do you know what I mean? And on this side, I think it's quite a good idea to have a bunch of mirrors and then they'd cover it up. So the stage is gonna be massive and that's because this isn't just gonna be some boring principal talk on today. No, today is music fest and this is where the students get to come and play that instrument. Now, I feel like every school had a band except my school didn't, so that was kind of offensive. And then finally, we can't forget the principal's speaking area. And with that, a Salvatore boarding school came to life. It was the last day of term. I couldn't be more excited to be at Salvatore boarding school. And I thought, next term, baby. <laughs> okay, chickens. Hope you enjoyed my little skit there. But it did give you an amazing view of the school's exterior. This school values at 500,000 dollars. But you've got to remember, these cars probably add about 300k in value. So really, you can get this for 200,000 dollars. So outside, we obviously have the park cars. We have these bullards, which you can technically pick up and move, because I'm the Hulk now. We have our little luncheon areas. But the real star happens when we go inside the building. So the first room is the entryway. You're immediately smacked in the face by the school rules. Just a whole bunch of no, no, no. And then on this side, it's like the fun things about high school, like cheer tryouts. If we go to the left, this is the room that we literally just built. And I think it looks so realistic because of these chairs. So this is the, where the band would be. So let's just say, I'm a band owner now. Yeah, guys. Whoop, whoop. And this kind of worked. It kind of didn't. I don't really know what I was trying to do here. It looks all right, I suppose. Busting side eye. So if we shuffle through this corridor, we have the gym locker room. So this is where we have all those smelly bibs hanging up. Here it says, welcome to gym class. Just imagine it says gym class underneath that place. This is the shower rooms. Oh, oh, what's going on there? But anyway, this is where you can shower all that sweaty sweat off. 
and also admire yourself in the mirror. Mirror selfie. And this leads us out to the grand backyard. So the school from behind actually looks really, really cool. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I just scored a goal backwards on accident. Hire me as your new football coach, please. But yeah, this is where you play football, basketball, or netball. The cricket team would sit here. And then you can also sit and eat your lunch out here. Yum, yum, yum. However, if it's a bit chilly like it is today, because it's almost November, guys. Can you believe it? Then you would go into the cafeteria. So you'd go over here, you'd get your tray, which you can't actually pick up, apparently. Fill it up with onions and cheese on the menu today. Lovely. But no, we do also have some meatballs, which look very appetizing. Jesus. Looks like a bowl of rabbit drop-ins. And then you can just sit here with your pals, you know, eating it. Uh, if we go upstairs, oh my gosh, first of all, let's just appreciate the view from up here. It's stunning. First room is the vampire slaying principal's office. I actually really like this vibe, and I think it makes the room have a lot of personality. And honestly, I don't mind the vibe. So since I'm the principal, you know, it's really good. I kind of like it, and you actually get a really good view of the playground as well, and also kind of at the front of the school, and also the back of the school. So it kind of works all the way around, which I like. And going here, we have the science room. So this is the room that we made first. It's actually rather right in here. I think we added so many Bunsen burners. So this is where the students or the pupils would sit. And then you'd first listen to the demonstration by the teacher at the front. And then you kind of get going with it. So you'd take a potion. Can you drink these? So maybe it's best you don't drink from a science class, actually. And then once they've done the demonstration, you would go over, get all the equipment and hope it doesn't go wrong. Otherwise, you're going to have to use a fire extinguisher. So chickens, that was me building a middle school in Bloxburg. Do subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks to everyone who watched it. And I'll see you all in the next one.